לכולם. את הכתבה הבאה נקדיש לזכרו של יצחק רבין במלאת שנתיים להירצחו. את המת אין להשיב, אך את הלקח אנו עדיין חייבים ללמוד. סובלנות. קיצוני אחד מבני עמנו רצח אדם בשל דעותיו שלא התאימו לדעתו. המסר בכתבה זו היא לסובלנות ולא לאלימות, גם בפוליטיקה וגם ביחסים בינינו לבין עצמנו. בכתבה זו אני מביא צילומים שצילמתי באותו לילה ארור לאחר הרצח. את דברי הקריינות בחרתי לשתף אתכם בדברים שאמר קריין רדיו בניו יורק יום לאחר הרצח בתוכניתו השבועית. דבריו ממצים את המסר שכדאי לנו ולכל תושבי כדור הארץ לאמץ. שלום. with a, a world-weary um, sadness over the assassination of uh, a man who was trying to make peace, you know? <laughs> It's like the peacemakers who definitely do seem to uh, uh, incur the uh, insane wrath of the fanatics. We forget that... Uh, a man attempting to make peace on the other end of that particular centuries-long strife. Sadat was assassinated just a couple of years ago, so... Hmm? I mean, it was, it was a bunch of years ago, but, you know, same, same deal from, by one of his own who didn't like what he was doing. And you sit there, you know, and you get this news, and no matter how many times we've had this news come to us, from uh, all different parts of the world over the years, we, we always just sort of go, oh my God, again, you know, we shake our heads and we, and uh, we don't believe at first, you know, we, we, we go, oh no, that can't, no, no, not another, oh man, you know, somebody's wrong, something's wrong there, no, and then you turn on the TV and TV, of course, it immediately brings the reality of a situation home. Uh, Prime Minister of Israel, Attempting to make peace, leaving a peace rally, and uh, murdered by a fanatic um, fellow countryman who didn't like the fact that he was attempting to make peace, and and who this is the statement this this got to me. In uh, I was reading the Times today, you know, uh, the the coverage on the front page of the Times, and a, a, a paragraph or two in um, on the story about the murderer. He, he was quoted as saying the following. I haven't, and, and this is, this is ultimately leads to, um, to the whole worldwide centuries long problem of uh, uh, strife and war between people who uh, can't seem to learn how to get along with each other. He was quoted as saying this guy, Amir, this guy who, uh, who, who killed, Rabin, quote, I have no regrets. I acted alone and on orders from God. All right, now it is debatable whether or not there is a God. <laughs> and if there is a God, it is debatable how that God interacts with uh, human beings on planet Earth. But if he, she, it, God, does communicate with us and it's debatable whether he she it does communicate with us or even care about us if he she it God does communicate with us and does actually speak to us and maybe even gives us orders <laughs> he she it doesn't order us to go around killing people <laughs> period sorry And if he, she, it does, in fact, order us to go around killing people, then he, she, it is not worthy of uh, any kind of worship or adoration. Or... Isn't, that a, isn't that amazing? Doesn't that just make your blood boil all the more? I have no regrets. I acted alone and on orders from God. And this is not this is not an unusual circumstance this is this this has gone on for centuries and centuries everywhere not just in the Middle East but everywhere everywhere that that uh, people have learned over generations 
to have certain expectations and to make certain demands and to have certain totally irrational reactions to other people, whether it be people of a different country, of a different race, or of a different political opinion. And, and you sit there and you watch TV and you see all this sorrow being expressed and you see all of this shock and you see the, the world leaders as they uh, learn about this assassination yesterday. You see them reacting with... Uh, these very stiff lips because they're trying hard not to just uh, fall apart, you know, because they're not allowed to do that because they're world leaders and they're strong. You see all this and you go, when is this ever going to end? When is this madness in this world ever going to end? Not just necessarily the assassination of a, of a, of a political leader, of a, of a prime minister of a country, by uh, what appears to be a, a, a lone fanatic. But when is all this hatred going to end? When is all of this inability to compromise going to end? When is all of this centuries-long war mentality on this planet going to end. And it, and, it, and it doesn't seem like it's ever, ever going to end. Because what it comes down to is, is uh, education, you know? What it comes down to is, is what we teach our children. And as long as there are just a few of us on the planet who continue to teach our children hatred who continue to teach our children that it's okay to act on orders from God <laughs> and, and, and kill people. It's okay to act on orders from God and go out and start wars. It's okay to act on orders from God and torture and maim and murder. Innocence all around the planet until until we can, until we can get those few people who still teach that to their children to understand that that's not the way that anything is going to be solved, then we'll just and this just keep going on. There's just going to always be this stuff. It's a matter of education. It's a matter of what you teach your children. And unfortunately, on the planet right now, what we're teaching our children. going to lead us to uh, certain destruction.